Hi, this is David Odell with Odell Complete Concrete. Today what we're going to do here is a nice little sidewalk on the side of uh, these two buildings. There was just some dirt along here so it wasn't used a lot. So it had been left dirt for I don't know how long but we're going to um, clean it up a little bit on this side yard so they won't have to do any weeding or anything like that in the future. This is a real simple project here. We're going to wheel the concrete in. It's about three feet wide and it's about uh, 30 feet long. So, you know, it's maybe a yard of concrete, maybe just a little bit more. So this is a good DIY project right here for beginners. This is a good beginner job, basically. All we have to do here, we move a little bit of dirt. Now you can relocate this amount of dirt probably in some planters around the house or wherever. Just get the dirt out of there and relocate it. There's not a lot of it. We're hauling it away, however, but um, it probably could have been utilized in some of these raised planters that I'm seeing here around the building. So most of there's the form work that we're doing here is a two by four. And it's going to be just pretty much on one side and then the concrete will just pour up against the building on the other side. So it's a real simple form to set. And I'm just using some wood stakes because this ground's pretty soft. Well, pretty much everywhere I work the ground's soft in this general area. So I can get away with using wood stakes, but in some cases you're going to need to get some steel stakes. So we, we've uh, removed the dirt. Now the elevation on this is basically we want the concrete below that downspout so the water can come off of the roof and go somewhere. So that was one fixed elevation we had. Also we do have um, a joining sidewalk at the other end there as you can see. They've got some step, stepping stones and stuff in there. They just kind of take away the dirt area but we're going to do solid concrete. It's just a lot um, less maintenance. We leave a little bit of a gap in between the two properties. And that's good just for water runoff and uh, in case anybody wants to do anything in there. Maybe a fence or something in the future. You still have a little space to get some posts in there. If needed, although you don't need it since the other building is on the property line anyway. For the bowl float, uh, I had to break out the wood bowl float on this one because I actually it started out as about a four foot wood bowl float. I actually cut this one down just to fit in this space, which worked out real nice. And you can rent um, some of these tools as well. The local rental place they have they rent concrete finishing tools. If you want to do one of these at home. So this side yard, you know, it's not going to be seen a lot. Um, it's not going to be used a lot. So, yeah, this would be a good one to start out on. So we got Sam on his new sliders. I think this is about his third job on the sliders. He's gradually uh, getting better and better. My son's in behind him on his new sliders. One of them with the fiberglass sliders, which is what I prefer. And then uh, one of them went with the metal sliders. But it's a good combination because when it gets real hard and you're doing a hard trowel, probably the metal sliders are best. But if you're doing what I normally do, stamped or um, broom finished, then I would recommend the fiberglass. But if you're doing a lot of garage slabs, hard trowel, or machine foundations, uh, hard trowel, uh, the metal sliders are probably better. So now what we have here is we've got a couple round trowels. They're um, 16 inch, 3.5 wide, or 4 wide. The round trowel, at least on one end, is nice because you don't leave a lot of trowel marks. 
I like to get one end of the trowel rounded and then the one end square so I can flip the trowel around and get the square end into tight fitting corners where a round end wouldn't fit. I mean everybody knows that you can't fit a round object into a square hole. So it's nice to have a round and a square on your on your trowel that way you can fit in all types of spaces. So we went down that on the knee boards a couple times. We wheeled this in. Uh, I poured this job and another job off of one ready mix truck. Uh, the proximity of the two jobs was uh, two miles. So we just uh, dropped some of, of the load off at one location, drove it to the other location, and dropped a little there, here and there, and leave a finisher where you need them. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching the video. Hope this helps you get your own jobs done. Uh, it's a, this is a good way, place to start on a you know 90 square footer or less. Uh, have a good day. If you have any questions or comments, contact me through email or text, preferably.